Peace, peace, greetings, greetings, greetings. Uh, love and light to all. Give an honor to the ancestors known and unknown. Uh, I saw, I said, ancient ones, all that are watching me and uh, guiding me. Winter solstice, all these things are aligning uh, the connections, spirit right now. I, I was like, let me go ahead and release. As like, let me tell you, I love this because it um, it's not nothing is mine. Meaning, like a lot of this stuff that I've been led to share has to do with the healing of the I, the internal uh, healing that I've done with myself and what I see also being mirrored, you know, through my experience. That being said, I don't know, I keep getting stuff like, I know, we know, we know who watches us in a way, like we know. And it's like, we, we, we see you, we appreciate you, but in the same way, like, we know. And when we say we know, we know, like, in the sense of, like, no one can stop this divine will or this divine order. And I just want to let people know it's, it's what you give your energy to. And this is a moment where, again, I was sharing in a previous video how we're rising into our power. One has to realize, like, during these awakenings or certain things, it's going to... It's happening as you, like, a phases of, like, caterpillar into a butterfly. Uh, so, it's not to say really anyone's ahead in this race or anyone is above anyone. So, it's, that's why it's so important to, you know, stay centered. And, uh, and just know, like, <laughs> it's so funny, like, the, the collective. And it's like I can feel to the depths of like what's happening. And I just want to let people know, like, do not be surprised if you're going to be, you're going to attract so many, you know, souls from everywhere around the world. Like, because you never know how and what your message is. Your message is given to you for you to share. And that message is given to, you know, the world. And then right now, as we're using these platforms, it's vital how we use them. And that being said, it's important to know that you're always going to be watched. But also remember that you're divinely guided and protected and untouchable. That's what makes you who you are and the importance of rising into your power right now. And what I also wanted to speak on is knowing that your personal growth is just as important as anything. Uh, I had an experience earlier and those that are not familiar with owls, owls represent, uh, you know, wisdom, uh, silence, uh, death and rebirth, change, shift, and um, new life. And that is in a sense of like, I heard one owl and it had this, synchronicity or this these hoots what they call them like hoo, hoo. and then I heard another one and I was like okay usually I hear one but when I hear two I'm like okay this is for someone you we're all again spiritually ours they represent when I when we speak of death it's like it can be a spiritual death or a transitioning of like the soul or someone transitioning or in a sense doesn't have to mean literally someone's like leaving but this is what you know the indigenous people will speak about like it could in a sense mean that but in a way something not to be fearful of because it's a part of the evolution and growth but it's also a shift in one's spirit that transitioning or that shift is part of like the elevation in one's soul, that wisdom and that, you know, from the knowledge obtained through your growth. 
Um, and notice like how owls, when they're not hooting, they're just there sitting in like their gaze and in silence. So that important could mean, could be a representation of um, honoring the silence and observing and meditating. So, and uh, I don't know, I keep hearing, Spirit keep telling me something about uh, shed light on when I was speaking about like people are going to come into their uh, these awareness and when I was speaking about like how these um, these these this, how the stars and how astrology is happening this Venus retrograde is going to shine light on relationships like dynamics and where we when I was speaking about the values you're going to see people from different places, like whether it be not only relations with ourselves, that's more importantly, but also mirroring back through family, friends, uh, also um, what if you want to give them titles like celebrities and all these other people, it's not just happening with us, it's happening collectively. So as when I speak about the matriarchal and see, this is what the healing is. This is a lot of what, uh, the ancient, you know, the mothers are like, they, they, they share with me, like the matriarchal are always saying how it's vital for our women, you know, the healing and, and as much as you feel like it's, it's destroying you, it's actually building your, your your character or you know you're you're evolving and also shifting into something greater something that they've always wanted to be in their lifetime but it was for you to walk into that purpose and live in this lifetime so it's like that of you know if you had a great grandmother or someone that transitioned or whatever and you know, I speak of spirit guides or, you know, they're guiding you or you, you know, some people have the gifts to speak to, you know, talk to them. You know, you have mediums, you have people as such or whatever. And um, those of you that, you know, aren't aware, but they are nudging and it's not so much. It's the unveiling of the divine feminine. It's like the divine face. And it's not so much a face in particular. No, it's an energy that one carries. Uh, me having to, uh, and I realize this in my on my own path, seeing so much of how painfully and and traumatic the experience the women that I have uh, encountered. Um, seeing what my grandmother and her mother you know from from my experience here learning about their like um, experiences with men so that helped me to learn through my um, my journey here how and why is it that uh what is my anger? And this had to do with the, the Chiron and, uh, and Aries that I was speaking about. It went direct. Um, and this is like learning the self-identity, you know, and self-acceptance. And also I took notes on how it's, un, it's unmasking the aggression and anger of, you know, all these insecurities or all these things that society or you know people in our family or or we've been hiding and i was like um like wow that's that's really you know i asked myself what through relationships or you know connections what 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 was my um and i feel like this has happened collectively like what is my anger and, and fresh and aggression towards why is my anger or aggression uh, towards women or towards anyone? Why is it that way? This is what I would like for our, you know, those that are guided to this video 
um, because it'll also not only help you, but for your kids, though that do have kids and those that you don't, but still it'll help everyone. Why is your anger and aggression towards others or your um, your actions? And that internally will help you reflect on how it's connected to what you've experienced in childhood. See, I feel like a lot of what Spirit is telling me about, because these celebrity things keep coming to me about how... Look at how the world has been portrayed through this lens of just social media, but really not knowing who these people are behind these phones and um, or all of that. So it's like easy to judge or pass judgment because we only see them through this lens of likes or through this, what we perceive as beautiful just because of what, how, you know, how they're dressing and uh, how much money. And let me tell you something like, this is what I see with this, this, this self identity and this self acceptance of learning these things is that, all right, I'm grateful to see, to truly see the true value in myself now before I even uh now I'm coming into that 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 self worth of how I portray myself on these social media platforms or anything. And that's that's through growth, but always being true to you or authentic will always you will all when you put that energy out there, it will always return to you. So again, I realized like how this is not only just a spiritual warfare, but you have to see how much we're putting our energy towards these devices or certain things. And then that's also in a way food because we're, you know, intaking or receiving all these things, what we're seeing. And that becomes a part of what, you know, reality. I've noticed something like to where, uh, for instance, like, <clears throat> It's like, look how they portray us on TV and or certain things that's portrayed on TV. If you keep feeding feeding people, again, if you keep feeding people this, this, this storyline of how all people are and they never turn out the TV, uh, certain outlets, again, a lot of these people are getting paid to do this thing or... A lot of these relationships and behind closed doors, a lot of this stuff is not even real, people. It's the energy that you give to these things. A lot of this stuff, this is why the shift is happening. When we choose to turn off the TV, when we choose to not give our energy to these things, it it fades away. It's it's That's just like a connection with relationships. When people start, they stand in their worth and set boundaries. Again, if that relationship isn't built or created upon something which, well, a foundation of love and truth and honesty and and all those things that, you know, will pretty much love, genuine love, it will stand the test of anything. Like a solid foundation, it's like building something on a on a foundation of stone and bricks, or you know something that you or something that's rooted in love and it, it's immovable. It's truly immovable. But again, we have to see how everything up to this moment has been displayed and been manipulated, and and like how the wool has been pulled over our eyes, and now. Are we really surprised that these things are, are changing and, and, and falling apart? Are we really surprised that, you know, that people really have stuff going on? Are we really surprised like we're the only ones? Oh. And this is why I, I keep this celebrity. It ain't even just that. It's These people, like, people are... You know, when you see how these, um, 
how they portray themselves as being all these things. And again, it's, it's, I guess it's a choice, however they went through it. But it's more of like, you got to know that the energy you put now is gonna return to you. So are you, you, you know what you're doing. And see, this is the accountability that no matter what people are doing, that there still is gonna be some type of accountability on your part on what you're doing. And so, uh, that's why I, it's, you can see the desperation, how people run into social media just for attention. It's like, that's the currency. And I'm like, wow. And, and that's the, I feel like that's the battle. Spirit, like that's the battle with that, what we call artificial intelligence. And I'm like, yo, you are, we are advanced spiritually. A lot of these things our ancestors already created. A lot of these things were given, but it's how, you know, how we use and what we give our energy to. And so, um, man, I mean, you can see people walking down the street, head all in the phone. People in, I didn't, from my experience, I mean, I was in relationships where I couldn't even put the phone down. I don't even realize, like, you be, you becoming a robot. How y'all don't have? You know how funny that is. How you're not even in a relationship. <laughs> Yo, I'm saying, and it's not to. Again, this is my perception. Like I see these these couples and these people that's on these social media. And it's always portraying this, 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 how can I say, this, this, oh, everything is so beautiful and, and so happy. And, and I'm like, bro, people are really like, I can really see like they, they've lost themselves in this, man. And that's what the world, that's what, that's what it is. It's like an oblivion. People have got, they're so far gone. They're so far gone. I think that's what happened with a lot of, uh, and this is why I'm reminding y'all, man, how much it is to 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 love on yourself, nurture yourself, as, especially our women, and, and, and so our kids can know, and men, young men, all, everyone. It's like, <clears throat> because you can see the world so distracted and so absorbed or consumed by these social media outlets, man. I even tell myself sometimes I got to discipline myself. And it's like, when do you know when to, you know, back away and step away? It's just like anything. It's like the world, like these kids, I see these kids, I'm like, man, they got a relationship with the phone more than they even do with their parents. And here I am, I'm, I'm, I know who I am. And it's like, yo, for those, I don't care if it's a spirit, like, you know, you share your message because it, it for the select few that will be guided to this, your connection with yourself and with source or the creator, most high, all, you know, is more vital because the world needs your light and your imagination. See, this is what the 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 also a part of the spiritual warfare. Is, a, a warf, oh, warfare. Wow, warfare, spiritual warfare. Is that if you can get someone so attached to something and and as much as away from their imagination as possible. What do people really have? Because they, they become so robotic. That's what school and all these things, you know, that everyone does the same does the same thing. Everyone does the same thing. Da, 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 this and that. That's why a lot of these platforms are falling because it's 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 there's really no 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 value in that stuff. And when I mean value, it's like, okay, other than Okay, you seeing people make money off likes. It's not to say they're not getting their message across because I'm also doing it, but it's more of are we doing it from a place of love? 
Look at it. Look, look at our young women, and, and it's like, why are you doing this? No one can love you through a phone. Um, and it's 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 a dark place too. It can be a dark place because it can be very dangerous. People sharing their location, you know, and it's important now because it gets so deep, man. I tell people about learning your self worth and standing your power because it's like, <sighs> who's gonna protect our women? Who's gonna protect the men? You know, who? People are getting so consumed about like they're forgetting the most important relationship is with yourself and that which is, you know, with yourself and the creator. But again, this glorification of what? Teaching people what to value more material stuff than anything. You care like you care more about shoes than your connection to spirit. Like I said, I'm not here to judge, but that is what's going to be the. It's that's what's leading people to their self destructive ways. That stuff is self sabotaging because it's you're gonna it, it's coming to that it's happening now. It's coming to that point where people are going to like, man, what, what do I have to rely on now? That stuff cannot bring you love and happiness or I mean you know joy it's not like we enjoy these things it's good it's fun while we have them but man it's so much that is happening and so many people that are just lost in the sauce but there are going to be others that awakening, you know, come to this awareness and people are going to come in and help. But man, people, we got some healing to do, man. We really do.